Every night here on Fox 9 on your side, we like to take a closer look at the weather and see it maybe through children's eyes right, a little they bit. have great questions. They the, do. the latest one from Scott tonight. Yeah, you know, uh, it's not always weather when you go. Typically, the kids are asking all kinds of questions about science, and it can be weather, it can be astronomy, or it can be geology. And this one kind of falls into the cate category of geology and earthquakes. Here's the nice question. Hi, my name is Chris. I go to Liberty Elementary, and my question is, what is the largest earthquake Idaho has ever had, and where was it? And how soon can you predict, a, predict an earthquake? Excellent question there, Chris, from Liberty Elementary. And what I have behind me right now is our iPad, because uh, I should say our weather app. This is an iPad I'm holding in my hand here. The Idaho on your side weather app, you can actually see where earthquakes have been occurring. That's the layer that I have right now, so I can move this map around interactive. Here's Boise right here. All these spots here, these are all earthquakes that have occurred here in the last few days or so. The red one's fairly early here. There's been some pre-shocks to a, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake uh, not far from south of Reno earlier this evening. Day. And that one did shake some of the tiny towns down south of here. And you can see a list right in here. So we can actually track where earthquakes are occurring. I'm going to push to the north here. We'll actually see there's one up in the southwest Canada. And typically we have lots of very tiny ones up in the mountains of Idaho. These are weather warnings that are going on right here. I will let you know that the Bora Peak earthquake of 1983, that is the strongest earthquake to ever occur in, uh, in Idaho. And you'll see right here, uh, this is what was left of the Bora Peak earthquake. This is Bora Peak off in the distance here. Here, and the earthquake, you actually get the ground to, to actually shake like this. It's shaking. You get two plates that are holding, that are, that are basically friction right here, and the one who wants to pop up and the other one down. That's what has occurred right here. And this is what's called a scarf line that was left over from the quake here. And what this is, we're talking about three to five feet in some places, as much as seven feet uh, displacement here in the ground. There were reports of some people that were actually out hunting nearby, and the ground started to shake, and a pickup truck is literally bouncing off the ground like you would see in a cartoon and one person reported even seeing what they call the zipper when you actually see the line shooting right across the ground here and then finally the ground just dropped below the pickup truck and then the truck then fell down on top of it so that's pretty impressive that quake was the strongest quake to ever occur in Idaho at a 6.9 and you see here it actually raised the official elevation of Bora Peak by about four or five feet so we're talking about a powerful earthquake it caused some pretty major damage in Mackey and in Chalice and was felt in Boise so you can talk to your folks. Uh, they were around in 1983. They probably remember and have stories about the 1983 Bora Peak quake right wow. here in Idaho. That's that, incredible. And that's called a scarf line? A, s a scarp. Scarp. A scarf. That's the scarp yes. line. And it basically will happen over time, geologic time. This will smooth on over by weathering here. It'll just be a little hill. Huh. Right now, it's a sharp edge. Fascinating. Right. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Thanks, Scotty. Let's take a live look at Boise from the Ford dealer.